If you guys had to, how would you introduce Thrawn? Would you like literally Ooh. go get him, pick him like up? Like this. Hold on, watch this shit. My Palpatine. It is high. In his throne. Chill Honestly, like, like the trailer showed um, him walking through a hallway, just a back shot of Thrawn, his Boss. back blue head. Uh, either Sabine or Ahsoka or even Hera. I, I could be Hera uh, that's captured and who walks in to interrogate this motherfucker. Literally, like, it, what more intimidating of a feeling would you get instead of, like, your regular Imperial or just straight up just out the blue he's introduced instead of, like, it's a journey where you go and get him. Like, you know how Morgan was saved yeah. from Balin and Jin? Nah, give us it. So, like, in a sense, like a jump scare, but a dramatic scare moment. You know what I mean? He's walking down the hallway and it's like, oh, shit. I think it can't just be a pan to him. We got to hear the organs first. And then yeah, like, show him, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, true. But <clears throat> is he going to claim the title of Emperor? He better. Emperor Thrawn, you know? Because he's literally the heir to the Empire. He's the highest ranked Imperial that's left. He's command. Yep. Is he going to claim it as his own empire? Is he going to create something new? What do you guys think? We're off to see the chiss. That'd be, that'd be pretty nuts if he came back with the uh, ascendancies. That'd be nuts. Bring in the, the chiss grand navy with him. That'd be crazy. I was thinking, like, what if Thrawn was literally the first... Supreme Leader of the First Order, you know? Uh. And then somehow he dies and then Snoke just waltzes in. It is I. <laughs> it is I. I don't know how I feel about that. Because the First Order's got to come from somewhere, you know? Late. We'll, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> and we know, we un like, we know that the First Order were Imperials from the outside regions two and two go together at some point and make four you know i think thrawn might be the first supreme leader of the first order fuck the first <laughs> order fuck those movies i hate it would it be called the first order though because to be first order yeah it's this the chess order something he, he might be thinking know. about that stuff man yeah there's a better name i came up with a poop board and he could he could be taking the chiss technology apply it to the current galaxy bro supreme leader thrawn that's got a ring to it man it's got a ring to it emperor thrawn also does too but at some point et <laughs> yeah <laughs> grand emperor thrawn <laughs> At some point, they have to put, they have to start, you know, heading that direction. So, do you think it's going to be after this stuff with Thrawn or during, I guess, is the question. Because it, it's a Hopefully. good fucking question. There's not a lot of conversations about this. Hopefully yeah. after. I feel like it's going to be during. I kind of wouldn't mind it because it would be kind of genius of someone like Thrawn to put the First Order together, you know? Mm -hmm. And it would make sense for the First Order to take power rather than if they were just being ran by a bunch of Imperials, you know? Like, they need someone's mind on top of that. And obviously, it would make sense with Palpatine, sure. But I think for Thrawn to have like the building blocks and the stepping stones for it to become a galactic superpower again, like it would kind of make sense. And I think it'd be, it'd build a lot of credence for Thrawn. Cause he, he's, he's a mastermind. I just don't know how 
they're going to move about it. And granted, we're two episodes in to a, a literal trilogy, so there's still tons of stuff to happen. 